Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for iPad Today is provided by CashFly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. Coming up, AirPlay apps that don't suck and getting around Apple TV all together. Plus, Rio Word Lens and land yourself a panda. All that and a pick every day on iPad Today. Yay! iPad Today is brought to you by Go to My PC. Skip the rush hour traffic and save time, money, and frustration by working from home with Go to My PC. For your free 30 day trial, visit gotomypc.com, offer code TWIT. And by squarespace.com, the fast and easy way to publish a high quality website or blog. For a free 14 day trial, go to squarespace.com slash iPad today. And by Slingbox, which can turn your iPad into a television. With a new iPad app from Slingbox, you can watch your home TV on your iPad anywhere you go. Check it out at slingbox.com slash twit. That's not a pick, it's a scratch, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Leo Laporte. And I'm Sarah Lane. And what, welcome. What's a scratch? No, no, it's just a, That's just a Seinfeld. A, it's I was one just, of those I was in a Seinfeld Oh, mode. it wasn't, not a pig. Not a pig, not it a was pig. Scratch. You even do Seinfeld well. Well, I've, I've, I've Isn't like there a, a, Like, I just heard there was a Seinfeld meme uh, going around. There are many. Many, many memes. Many, many Seinfeld yeah. memes. I can't remember what it was, but anyway, thank you for joining us, ladies and gentlemen. This is the show where we describe how <laughs> and why the iPad. What? How and why the iPad. iPad. That's it. <laughs> we thought about calling it that for a while. How and why iPad? Uh, we may uh, yeah. when iPad Today runs its course. Yeah. How and why iPad? I think that's perfect. By the way, what is your stock answer to anybody who says, why don't you just call it iOS Today? You talk about the iPhone. Well, we don't really, though. I think we talk. We, we have only talk about it if the iPad can also be in on the conversation. I think so. I think it's yeah. peripherally about the iOS in general, but really. Really, it's mostly about what is everything's ringing in everything's here. Ringing. I think that's, I believe that's me. I don't think it's me. No, it's me. But that's all right. Just ignore that. I don't hear it. Uh, it was a very old fashioned phone. It's like some sort of a cordless plug in. <laughs> I, I, like I feel like there's somebody left their Panasonic cordless <laughs> it, phone. It lying might around. be Roger Ambrose. He's got all sorts of really old timey things on his desk that make all sorts of noises. Roger is our creative director. He's designing the new studio. Yeah. And we've ensconced him. In the same office as TNT is produced. Where, That's right. Where Sarah so and, Tom and me and Roger and yeah. a variety of other people during the day. And I was in there meeting with out. you guys, and all of a sudden there was a weird sound. A, a barn, farm animals. Yeah. So yeah. there's a moo and there's a cuckoo, cuckoo <laughs> when it hits the hour. Uh, and there's also something else. I, I don't know. It's escaping Don't me. Don't you think it's, it's kind of... It's like living of, in a farm here at Twit. I mean, that's, that's the that's, kind of thing... Uh, part of the fun. When you first get an answering machine, you do long, funny singing messages. Yes. When you first get a computer, you do lots of funny sounds. Yes. And then you, you know, shortly, if you mature properly, you learn... You turn off all that stuff. ...that this is annoying. Right. Not only to you, but to everyone around you. I think some people are just have audio. They like to be reminded via audio. You know, Roger hears the moo, and that means something to him. Steve Gibson does that. I hear the moo, and I'm like, why, why is, there is there a, a cow? cow? So it's just Steve it's Gibson, a matter of preference. Every t he has a lot of sounds in his office. We actually, when we first started doing security now, yeah. we would hear whenever he gets uh, paid, or no, I guess a new a new order for... Uh, spin right his, his program uh it's a yabba dabba do oh. <laughs> I, know. I mean that would last like five times before i might be well, like steve he, he lives all alone please help and now but even why. i mean does he like that does he want to i get okay flintstones what are you gonna okay there's other no judgment no judgment so, what are we talking about today Lane? well we're talking about a lot of stuff we have a jam-packed show except that we wanted to start off with there here's the reason that we're talking about airplay apps is because uh, every week, I'll go to the App Store, the iTunes App Store, and just kind of get a sense for what's new, and sometimes the staff will curate lists. And this week, one of their curated lists was AirPlay-enabled apps. But they, cool. There were like a, a, a dozen on there. So these are all apps that would allow you to use your iPad to send content, like Martha Stewart makes cookies. Right. 
to your TV. Now, uh, Why? At, but at, you have to have a $99 Apple TV. Oh, exactly. Okay. So, but at first glance, I do have an Apple TV. Yes, and I thought, I. oh, this yeah. is great. So, uh, you know, the bottom left-hand corner, Authentic Yoga with you Deepak bought Chopra. That. No, it's a dollar ninety-nine. Some other uh, yoga guru, and right. I thought this is awesome because I never get down to the yoga studio. They're kind of expensive. Can, can you do that? It's a uh, no. Oh. I could probably get there if I practiced for a while. You should practice. Yeah, I know. And I thought this is great. You know, I'll move the coffee table. I'll do yoga in my living room. You know, it's if it's a dollar ninety-nine per class, so it's like an wow. in-app purchase. Look at that. I love the the model. I love the, this model. Tara. Uh, however, and you so Tara. you want to put this on your TV so you could do you could do a class, right? Because on, on your I, iPad you could do it, but it's better. Oh, much yeah. better if you've if you've got if yeah. you've got a big entertainment system. We got a nice big TV in our living room, and so the problem with this is that, and this is something that we Leo and I have always recommended is it's really important to to read the reviews and see what people are saying about right. apps because. Uh, just because an app is in the app store does not make it a good app. In fact, sometimes they're awful and well, not ready for Well, look at the reviews. Market. I mean, uh, everybody loves Deepak Chopra, but four out of six reviews are one star. They're very negative. Flawed interface, poor functionality, Doesn't work. buggy content. And also, it's like four reviews that are bad, and they put this in AirPlay apps. I like it. They did get one positive, one five-star review. reviewed. Gitanjali Swami says, best, best yoga, yoga app iPad app I've tried. tried. I don't and think that's his real name. I'm sorry, when it's the first or one of the first out of yeah. five reviews, yeah. I assume it's, it's the from, person who made the app. It's actually Deepak. Exactly. Yeah. Anyway, so I was kind of disappointed with that in general. AirPlay has a long way to go, but one of the apps that is cool, and I can vouch for this because I've been spending a lot of time with it, and it's one of the apps that was in that list, is Spin. Spin Magazine, you know Spin Magazine, their music Spin. magazine. I follow them on RDO. Oh, you do? They have a uh, RDO uh, account. Oh, cool. Yeah, so a good way That's to discover music. That's probably something that I could yeah. find yeah. Uh, through this app. So it's called Spin Play. It's, mm -hmm. it's a free app, uh, so you don't have to pay anything, except that you are paying per issue. They'll give you the first issue free, and then each issue is one ninety nine or it's seven ninety nine a year. So it's a pretty good subscription model. Now, I don't know why it's loading up. Okay, so... This is, I'm in the current issue here. So this is a magazine. This is a magazine. And it's it's a lot like, okay, so let's see, uh, as far as music magazines go, they, they do a lot of music uh, artist highlights, but then they'll also, you know, Q&A with Anna Ferris, the actress, to see what kind of music she likes, that sort of thing. So when you click through it, it's, it's navigating uh, the way that you would be used to. But here's where it gets cool. Okay, so here's an article about an artist called Anna Calvi, who um, has looks this, just like Boy George. Well, she, I don't know that she looks like him, but she has a really kind of gorgeous low voice, kind of mm, almost like a... I love that sound. Like a guttural mm -hmm, type of a... Mm -hmm. She's got a... Yeah, mm -hmm. it, it almost doesn't match mm -hmm. the rest of her. Mm -mm. Now, I'm not connected to my Apple TV right now, so it's not going to give me an option to send to my Apple TV. What, when you saw... Uh, it, it was basically saying, well, what do you want to pick here? Now, if I was connected to my Apple TV... You'd see that as a choice. You would have seen that as a choice. Yeah, there's just... We don't have an Apple TV in here well, to show you. We have my pick. Let's launch my pick and see if we could play that through my pick. Uh, we might be able to. That's a good... You, see if it's uh, showing up there. All right. Just out of curiosity. Because yeah. uh, the next thing we're going to show you is something that it. does let you play this kind of stuff on your computer. But maybe not. Mm, never mm, mind. No, nope, mm, not showing up. Not showing up. Okay, never mind. But you could watch Rammstein here mm, on the iPad them. itself. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So you. Rammstein, do, do has. Remember that song? No, you don't remember. I bet Henry knows it. Anyway, so so there's a. It's a very multimedia experience, which of course for music magazines, that is something that I always thought was a little weird. A paper and lacking, magazine, yeah, paper magazine. There, who, all the stuff is very interesting, but you you tend to get maybe a few too many of those articles where you're finding all about the, uh, finding out all about this artist and maybe you haven't heard anything from the artist and you think well they seem like interesting people but are they any good mm -hmm. so this gives you a lot more of a reason to get to know um you know an artist or or decide that you don't like them because right. you get a little taste of it so this I've tried it at home. It I does can, play on I your TV? I can vouch that it works. Cool. And as far as music videos, especially if they're well produced. Now, does it, does it, so the whole magazine's interface is on your big screen TV, so when you swipe on your iPad, it swipes on the TV? And no. It's only for... The music videos. Audio and video. Ah. So okay. it's all of the multimedia beyond the app itself. The mm. entire app is not on... The TV. See, that's one thing that just, just a little disappoints me about AirPlay and AirShare is, is that, that I want to see the whole iPad screen. 
Yeah. Uh, well, that yeah, I mean, you could do that with some some things. Or is Garage Band uh, airplay? No. Uh, is it? I know. I don't know. I don't That's so. a really good question. No, it should be, but it's not. Yeah. So you get the idea. I like spin. If this is your kind of content, it might be a little hipster for some people. I happen to like it. And I used you, to love them. You can magazine. also just decide, uh, you know, let them feature Leaky Lee or whatever her name is. It's a, that's a, a, Leaky Lick, Lee. Leaky Lee, I think, is how she pronounces. It. It's a Swedish artist. She's very, mm. she's very hot right now. This isn't her. This is Jessica Leah Mayfield. But uh, wait till something comes out on Spin, and then you can just buy that issue. Right. So you don't have to invest in anything unless you want to spend eight dollars a year, which is still pretty affordable. So that's Spin Play. That's the an reason AirPlay app that works. People are saying, well, couldn't you just use the HDMI cable? Of course you could and connect your TV, but then your iPad's sitting next to your TV. Right. And what we're thinking is that you get both a lean back and lean forward experience if you have AirShare or AirPlay rather working. Right. You can have the iPad in your lap, play it on your TV, and I think you that's a great idea. You can also take it with you and play it on someone else's Apple TV, and that's cool. So you're not... You're, you're not uh, restricted. Now, it seems possible to do the same thing with your computer. And in fact, you can, thanks to Erica Sadoon, who's written a lot of applications uh, for iOS. She writes for the uh, unofficial Apple web blog, T-U-A-W. And her program is called Banana TV. It's $8.00. Uh, you could buy it not on the App Store because it's, it's a desktop application. So you actually buy it on uh, the Banana TV website. And uh, once you've got it running, what you'll see, let me just pop it up here so you can see it. Is, yeah, please do. Is, um, it puts a little... Uh, there you go, bananatv.net, the second one down. Yeah, it puts a little uh, banana in your menu bar. <laughs> but so, it does more than that. Well, I, here, there, I've got a banana in my menu bar. Right? We've got a cute little tutorial video if you want to play that yeah, off the well, top. Well, I mean, it makes sense uh, in the tutorial. Uh, and it has a nice beat, and you can dance to it. But the idea is that you would play, now again, this is AirShare enabled apps only. You press play on your iPad, Airplane. choose the device. You see, she saw the Apple TV device, but also the computer. I can do the same thing here. So I'll show you. I've got a uh, Lady Gaga video right now on my, uh, on my. Uh, this is my iPad. Uh -huh. And here it is. Here's, I can choose the Studios MacBook Pro. So instead of choosing the Apple TV, and this, this is play software this that back. you installed on your MacBook Pro. It's desktop software. Yeah. It, and now it'll play back. See, it's playing back, as you can see. On That's your, my computer. On your MacBook. Yeah. Now, we've had a problem with this. Every time we get to this point, it freezes. Except that it didn't this oh, time. Oh, good news. Maybe it... Uh, is now, this it, is on our Wi-Fi network, and maybe we were just having some Wi-Fi issues. But the sound... It's because this video makes it seem like the video has right, buffering it's issues, not. but that's actually what the that's video looks like. That's how it's supposed like. to look. So here, it, so it's playing off my iPad yeah. onto my laptop, which I think is is pretty cool. Yeah, it's really cool. So because that works if you don't with, have an Apple TV, I mean, a lot of folks don't have Apple TVs, and it's right. like AirPlay, meaningless to Well, me. and you may have an iMac or a, a big screen uh, Macintosh. This is, this is a great way to play this stuff back. Now... A couple of issues. First of all, as we said, it froze the first four times we played it. Mm -hmm. uh, some things don't play. Uh, Audio so only, for example. So you can't just stream music. Right. It's got to be video or photos. Photos work wonderfully. I mean, if there's audio with the video, that will come through right. as well. But not uh, not an audio only, which is and, and apps, kind of annoying. And apps won't work. So it, there's there's kind of a limitation to it. Here, I'll show you my photos. And you also don't get the uh, the fancy transitions and all that stuff. You You're only going to get... Uh, the pictures themselves. I'll put up some. Uh, those are Trey Ratcliffe's great. Yeah, I should show some of these because they're so beautiful. Trey does these wonderful desktops uh, for iPad at his uh, site, Stuck in Customs. And again, I can AirPlay this picture, and it shows up right there on my. That's my computer, yeah. not 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 my laptop. So that's your. So so it's actually showing up on both and that's iPad. And, and, and uh, I can't tell which is which. That's the iPad because you see and a the finger. screens just look different because we're shooting well, one different. with a camera and the other one. Now we're watch. So I slide that, and it just goes. It just snaps the new one, and it does right. make a nice little snapping sound. But that's okay. But at least I can do it. I can have a slideshow on my computer. Exactly. And you might say, "Well, gosh, uh, you probably have all this stuff on your computer, right?" I mean, and that's true. So this is of some limited value, but it does work. Doesn't work now. I had some, I'll, and I'll show you this. I had some other videos on my iPad, some homemade videos uh, that play just fine on the iPad, but don't play uh, as well on the, um, uh, let's see, let's go to my movies. This is, for instance, me on Live with Regis and Kelly. I could play it on the iPad, 
Oops, let's play it on the. Uh, I can play it on the iPad. Maybe I can't. Oh yeah, there it is. By the way, that's the, uh, the new BlackBerry Playbook. Nice. Yeah. I like uh, so, that thing. I got a chance to play around with it a little bit at South by. I like it. Yeah, it was we ordered cool. one, so we'll yeah. we'll get we'll get to I'm, demonstrate I'm one. now. But when I choose this here, and try to play it on my uh, desktop, um, nothing happens. It says this video is playing. But it not. But it but it not. But it not. There does seem to be. Wait a minute. Ooh. Wait a minute. Oh. Is uh, there just a uh, little uh, lag? Was uh, there a little lag? Uh, uh, it looks no. like something's happening. Yeah, a black screen. Yeah, and nothing. It, it's not. It, you need something like this to work. Yeah, that would be nice. Although I, I think it's just see, too rich. The video is just too rich. Is that's, my that's my possible. Yeah. We also might have kind of a funky connection in here right now. Some of the practical applications I can see this being really helpful with is, let's say you've got an iPad or even an iPhone, and you go to the office or you go to someone else's office in your conference room, and you need to show perfect. You know, just send some video or, or photos to a group of people. That's a good and it's point. Better it's not than your having computer. ten people gathering right. over your shoulder. But they need an, a banana TV. They need to download the eight dollar banana yes. TV. Yes, but, but I mean, that's, it's absolutely right. That's eight dollars, I believe. Banana TV is seven ninety nine. Right. Where an Apple TV is ninety nine. Exactly. Apple TV is great for a lot of things. I mean, I enjoy mine. But if you're not in the market to get one, then this is perhaps a good alternative for you. Somebody's saying try YouTube. Is YouTube uh, enabled? Let's try it on the uh, I didn't I don't yes, know. Yes, it it's, is. It's it's a it's AirShare enabled. Huh? I think AirPlay so. enabled. AirPlay. All right, let me let me get you, let's be fun. Then that should play, right? Then you, then you could then you could play your YouTube videos um, on your laptop. You know, while you're getting that set up. Seems like that's I mean the big deal. I mean you you could do that anyway, right? Why why would you do it off of your So here it is. It's playing back. I'm going to choose uh, headphones, no, no, that's uh, Studio MacBook Pro, and let's see if it's going to play back. Yeah, it does. It seems to, it seems to, uh, wants to anyway. Mm. Let's, do, let's play it again. Yeah, there. See, it's playing back. Oh yeah, all right. So it does work with YouTube, but again, I don't know why you would do it with YouTube because um, you want to play it on a different device, right? I mean, it's it's the option to but, do but, that. But 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 you have a computer. Groundbreaking uh -huh. video conferencing well, technology and solutions. Uh, what if you had a Mac Mini that was uh, connected? not connected to the internet? Well, what if you had a Mac Mini that you're using as your home media center that was connected to your nice big screen TV and you wanted to play a YouTube video on it? You would just go open the browser and go to YouTube. But no, you could send it from your iPad sitting on your couch. Ah, I see what you're saying because then you don't need to open up a. I mean, some of this, some of this is like we're thinking up sort of silly scenarios. <laughs> yes, we are. But I'm not. I, I don't want to um, limit anybody. People What's kind of nice is the, the iPad becomes the becomes the controller, so you could right. put Charlie up there, and I'll just press play. Charlie bit me. Charlie, Charlie. <laughs> uh, one of the things, Leo, we Charlie talked about it this a little bit on TNT yesterday, was the idea, this is a Bloomberg story, they have sources familiar with the project that says Apple may be interested in licensing AirPlay software to consumer electronics makers. That would make sense. Samsung, then your TV would be AirPlay example, ready. Yeah. And that would yeah. um, negate the need for banana TV. Or an Apple TV. Or an Apple TV. It would it would you would be able to that makes the most sense to me. And me I'm too. sure that that's where we'll be in a couple of years, if not sooner. Um, I still wish the thing that I really wish we could do what? is send all the apps to a computer or an Apple TV and play the apps that are on our iPad like the great driving games on the iPad, use the iPad as a controller right. and have these driving games up on the big screen TV. I mean, wouldn't that be awesome to be able to use this to steer with and then be able to watch the game on the big screen TV? This is a great controller for driving games, but I'm turning it like this and I'm using the controls like this. Just use this as a controller and watch the TV. Wouldn't that be cool? That's what I'm waiting for Apple to do. In fact, I thought they would for sure do that with Apple TV. Well, you know what you could do is sometimes some of the games you can use your iPod as a controller and then you could send the video right. from the iPad to the TV. If it's AirPlay enabled. If it's AirPlay enabled. That's the problem. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're, we're not there yet, but we're may, getting there. It may be that um, uh, there may be technical lim limitations. The reason they don't make some of these games uh, AirPlay enabled is because it would slow the game down. And, of course, then they couldn't have the, you know, the excellent graphics that they do nowadays. I mean, this, mm -hmm. is, this game is kind of stunningly realistic so yeah that's what it's, it's like, like when i drive it's like to work. i'm right there yeah, yeah. with my earplugs pretty cool at montclair monte carlo I don't <laughs> monte carlo know. uh if you want the links to uh spin play which again is pretty cool and uh banana tv that we showed off 
please visit us at twit.tv slash IPT. That's where you can watch the show. Last week's show, week before that, we're on show 38. So we have quite quite a nice little archive list now. Of course, you can subscribe to future shows as well. Yes, you can download can. video or audio, whatever you want. I happen to think that you miss a lot if you watch the audio-only version of the show. But so many of you write in and say... It's, like, listen it's on, like watching with your eyes closed. We listen on our commute. We like yeah. it. And if we need to see something later, we might fire up the video version of the show. Cool. As right. long as you're happy, we're happy. A quick reminder, if you're not watching us live, that we record iPad uh, today live on Thursdays at 4.30 p.m. Eastern, 1.30 Pacific. And if you have app ideas of your own, and you guys always do, and we love your ideas, so keep them coming, shoot us an email at iPadToday at twit.com. TV. And if you've got an AirPlay app that you think works better or works well or is something you think we should yeah, take a look at, we'd love know. to hear about that. Maybe there's a favorite AirPlay app that we missed. Uh, the ones we looked at did, did, were not that impressive. I am so unimpressed with AirPlay so far. that The technology is so cool, but give me a yoga app that works. I will yeah. buy it. I will buy every little session. Yeah, that's interesting. It's funny that they don't. You'd think they would. Yeah. Well, yeah. we're at the beginning stages. It's yeah. going to be cool. Someday. Someday. Uh, let's Virtual mention briefly yoga. our friends at uh, Citrix and go to my PC before we get on to the rest of the show. There's lots more to talk about on iPad today, including our AppCap Awards. And, boy, there's lots of news, too. Yeah, I know. Go to my PC. That's a great remote access program from the folks at Citrix. Nobody knows remote access better than Citrix. And now, go to my PC is on your iPad. It's so cool. So what I want you to do is I want you to set up Go to My PC on your office computer, your desktop computer at home, where, whatever computer you want to access. Set it up there. Then go to the, and by the way, you can do that for free for 30 days. Go to MyPC.com, offer code TWIT. When you set it up, you get 30 days free. And then uh, just go to the uh, App Store, download Go to My PC on the iPad. Now, imagine this. You know, you're uh, out at the beach. You're, you're taking vacation. You're at a hotel, at an airport. You're somewhere away from your computer, but you want to access the email on your computer or, or maybe get some material from there or run, just run any program, send and receive email, you can do it all via your iPad. This really lightweight little device is now your desktop at work. And all the functionality is there full speed. It's amazing. I want you to try it free for 30 days. G-O-T-O-M-Y-P-C dot com. Offer code T-W-I-T. That's us. 30 days free the best remote access software in the world. No longer will you get stuck in traffic, going to work, or miss, uh, miss out on important email on just because you're on vacation. Like today, oh, wouldn't just you have liked to have been able to, to do the show from home with Go to My PC? You would have loved I that. I would have loved it. Yeah. Maybe one day. Someday. Someday. We'll be able to. Tomorrow? No, not tomorrow. <laughs> but you can. You can. You so, know, um, what's the news? Well, there's one big piece of news that. I would have loved to gloss over, but that would have not been true to all of you and, of course, to Leo because there's a new version of Angry Birds, Leo. No. And it's out, and it's called Angry Birds Rio. Oh, man, I wish I had that on my computer. You don't? Yeah, I do, actually. There I was going to say, there's no It's fun way. because, uh, you know, first of all, what's interesting about it is uh, it's, it's, you can get a free version with ads in it, but it's, it's, to, it's to promote the movie Rio. Rio. Boy, Which is uh, Rio, uh, it, it's it, a Fox movie that's coming out uh, pretty soon. And Rio is Rio de Janeiro. Right. Uh, I know this because somebody in Rio de Janeiro was complaining that he couldn't buy the... <laughs> the game's the, not available. The game, the in Android Rio! Game through the, for the Amazon App Store. And he there we go, there we go. That. Now I'm talking three Here's stars. my question. Why are we in like an airplane hangar? Because that's the plot of the uh, movie is I that see. the birds are abducted. Oh! Two stars. I now, I've that. heard people this is, saying I like that it. the game looks great. I've also heard people complain that it's not hard enough. It's easier, which is great for me. It's great. It would be great for me, too, because yeah. hard, hard, when games get difficult, I stop playing them because I don't like to lose. And, you, and you'll and you complete. It's not as many levels. You'll complete this much faster. But, but I wonder if this is the sort of thing we're going to see more of. Remember when it was all the rage when a movie was going to come out? They'd make a website, and then they'd have some sort of like a lame interactive game. And they'd be game, terrible games. Yeah. And it wouldn't be very good. And then... Once the movie was released, it wasn't as if they would. Right. There was anybody working on the game anymore. It was and it done. Would kind of just yeah. people would stop thinking about it, and then eventually it would die. I hope that, uh, and and I'm sure that that's going to happen with apps as well. I, I you know, never right. underestimate what studios right. will do for a little bit of quick money. But I would like to think that something like Angry Birds Rio will not just be 
abandoned. Well, now once. there is a paid version and a free version. True. Uh, that's it, there was also a free on Android that is available for Android. Um, I don't know. I'm I'm curious. Uh, I can't imagine them. You know, with 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 Angry Birds holidays, they were able to. You know, they had St. Patrick's Day, mm -hmm. they had Easter, they'll or they will have Easter. They had all the holidays. It started Halloween. with Halloween. Yeah. Um, so I can easily see that happening um, with the holidays one, but I can't see it happening with Rio because that movie's out and it's done, as you said. So I don't know. It's a free. It's, it's a freebie. It's, like you, it's fun. You it's buy you're the over $2 with. For it's a few just more hours stuff. And yeah, it's, it's, just more it's stuff. Angry Birds. Angry Birds is starting to become this thing that I think people pretend they it's like more than they like because it's this. Everyone is supposed I, to love Angry Birds. I've got the cure. What? My app cap coming up is the cure. Oh, good. Um, you know what is also a cure for for boredom? <laughs> Not necessarily Angry Birds cure, but remember back, oh gosh, what it, was it, a few months ago now, there was an app that uh, was released called Word Lens. Word Lens is kind of a weird And the concept app. was it could read a piece of paper as long as there was, if the font type was laid out clearly right. enough. Well, now that the iPad has a camera... Well, the uh, what's interesting is WordLens got a lot of um, a lot of attention because people were like, "Oh my gosh, this is revolutionary! Right. You could you could scan a menu in Spanish right. if you were in Spain and find out what you want to order." I brought it confused. to South America. It was not very useful. Uh, Tom and I did some some testing where we would write out with with magic marker as legibly as we could mm, yeah, that's not with the way mixed to do it. results. It's yeah. much better on actual typeface, but yeah. WordLens. Uh, no one's really talking about it. They now have an iPad app. It's yeah. an app that is... And it's a free upgrade, by the way, if you bought the other word lens, which I like. You do it. I will. <laughs> so, as you can see, it'll say, for free, you can reverse words or you can erase words. Oh, also Which is useful. like, uh, that's kind of like conceptual stuff. Nobody really wants to do that. But practically, if you wanted to go from Spanish to English or English to Spanish, that's very helpful to me. However, it's 10 bucks each way. So um, you really yeah. want this to be, you know, the, this is really something that you want to use before you get going. But let's just see. It will here. if you bought it, as I did before. See, there's, there's my, the reverse words. My reversed kombucha. Yeah. And by the way, kombucha is written in kind of this weird font. So you see, maybe it again, thinks it's Spanish. It thinks it's ocho com. Well, no, because I check. I checked reverse. It's, I need some it's trying. It's trying. If you already bought the uh, Spanish English as I did, it's free to download. So this this is uh, this is something that you you know if you've already bought it on the iPhone, you might as well put it on the iPad. It does it does make it a little easier because it's got a lot of big big screen on there, and I can't tell you how useful it is to reverse. Uh, well, Characters it's not like it's that. not useful at all. But the problem Again, is it does the same thing with Spanish. It just kind of jumps around. And it jump, it's it's they had a um the video is very was, impressive. Yeah, the video that, that they had released initially everybody was like this is going to change my life. It's very it's hard to recreate the the seamlessness that the video uh the word lens people put out originally made it look like. Yeah. But Remember that uh, you know before. Do erase well, I don't know, words. The chat room. Ago, the chat room wants you to erase the kombucha. Erase the kombucha. Yeah. All right. So All right. let's go. So how do you we do went that? erase words. Erase words. And again, keep in mind that the lighting in here is a little weird. I think it's perfect. Oh, see, no words. So it's smart enough to see that there are. I guess if we're standing still, maybe I don't know. I think that it is. It's kind of cool that it can even do that. I know it's neat. This is again. Yeah, I mean, that's that's virtual reality. Yeah. It's 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 a sign of 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 capabilities to come. Right. Is really the way that I see it. And it's nice that there's an iPad app now. Previously, the iPad didn't have a camera, so this was not even something that you could fool around with. Now you can. And if for any reason you feel like shelling out the ten dollars to go English to Spanish or, I don't know, twenty for both, you go, girl. I bought it. Like I said, I bought it for uh, for our trip, uh, you know, to South America. So I have the mm -hmm. Spanish English, and I was able to re-download it. You don't have to pay a day again for it. You got any Spanish? Uh, maybe later we'll we'll do some translation. Oh yeah, let's. <laughs> uh, we had a quick ask, Leo. This one comes from Eric Davis in Meridian, Idaho, and he says, Leo, can you explain why the iPad One can't do video mirroring? It doesn't make any sense. Can't be a hardware issue. Hardware issue because jailbroken iPads have been able to do it since the beginning. Not very well. I thought it was a software issue. Then Apple just didn't want to give us mirroring. 
Then they released the iPad 2 with an updated iOS and video mirroring. Now the iPad 1 and the iPad 2 use the same iOS 4.3 version, so it can't be software. There has to be a logical explanation. Is Apple deliberately trying to hold this back, and why? My initial thought was, oh, this is a feature of the new A5 chip and the new graphics chip that they put in the iPad 2. It is true. In fact, we did it. We did. We used Demo God. We jailbroke the iPad, and mm -hmm. in the first couple of episodes, you can we see... We were doing mirroring uh, out the um, video of we the VGA fine. port. You just couldn't see. You couldn't see any of the clicking and the swiping. So we well, but we also the quality. It. Maybe I remember was a little soft. Yeah, it wasn't that's wasn't true. super crisp. Right. Um, it's certainly more crisp now. The HDMI mirroring is actually perfect. Um, so I think it could be hardware, except Steve Jobs was able to do it from day one with both the iPhone and the iPad. Remember. Mm -hmm. Steve, when he does those demos, even on the very first iPad in January of last he's year... He's not using some jailbroken Cydia app. He's putting it up on the screen. Now, he may have some significant hardware assets. There may be other stuff going on. We don't know what kind of magic Apple was using. I My, my general inclination is to think that this is something the iPad 1 can kind of do, but Apple didn't feel it was good enough to release, that the iPad 2 can do it well, and so that's when they released it. I don't think they held it back to get people to buy the iPad 2. Uh, I think that even though Steve has that capability or has always had that capability, even with an iPad 1, Apple never released that to anybody, including people like Alex Lindsay. Who re you know, we were doing you know, mm -hmm. shows with this stuff. We really wanted it. People like um, Don McAllister, who's a screencast online, really wanted this. And they never, and we asked, and they never offered it to us. So I suspect it really is a hardware issue at, at bottom. I, I don't think Apple's holding it back. I really don't. I pretend, I'd love to, you know, believe me. I'd love to, the, the conspiracy theory. And sure. I would say they were if I really thought they were, but I, I don't think they are. Right. Uh, this is uh, time for you to hold on to your hat or your Whoa. headphones because this is one of the weirdest uh, iPad Today stars of the week we've ever had. It's uh, razor clam time. This one comes from Sean Brown in Olympia, Washington, who says, I couldn't resist sending you a, a picture of my razor clam and my iPad here in Washington State. We have a few very short razor clam season digs. So it's not a pet razor clam. This is a razor clam this that was, is, he dug was it up. caught. Usually about three days is, is, is the season. While listening to music cleaning my catch out, I thought, hey, let's see if the iPad would recognize the touch of a clam. Oh, and it does. And as you can see in the photo. Clam touch, too. It does. Look at that. Clams and iPads, what could be better? You know, Sean, he's actually touching a word, the word clam. Sean, you no. have managed to impress us, which is clam hard to Clam touch one, let's see. Yeah. Wow. It's kind of the same picture. One's just a little bit closer than the other. But the, the clam is mm. touching, and you can see that it's holding down. And the iPad is saying, Mr. Mr. Clam, Mr. Clam, would you like to copy this word? That's disgusting. That's so moist. It is moist. Gosh, oh. nothing moister than, than a, a clam. razor clam. Yeah. What is a razor clam as opposed to a other kind of? Well, clam? it looks like it's a big ass clam. It does. <laughs> I would say the biggest difference. It's just. It's ginormous. I mean, I wonder if the shell is ch sharper than. A, oh yeah, a different probably. Kind of clam shell. You could that's shave why they with call it. it razor clam. You could shave with it. That's why they call. I'm it I'm not razor going clam. to do that, but it's nice to know. That when I eventually go razor clam digging, as I'm bound yes, to do. you want to do. At some point, I'll be up in Olympia. When is the season? Uh, he said it's three days. That's short. It's really short. And yeah. I I mean, he sent this email to us within the last few days. So I must be now. right now. Yeah. Razor clams. Sean, good work. You know what goes so well with razor clams? What? Squarespace.com. Oh, totally. Totally. The secret behind exceptional websites. <laughs> we were just, whose site were we just looking at? Oh, the hamster dance. They use Squarespace. Now, why do you think the hamster dance uses Squarespace? Because they get a lot of traffic. Every once in a while, somebody will say hamster dance, and everybody will go there. The nice thing about Squarespace is they just turn that bandwidth on. They pour it on as needed. So you don't have to worry about your site going down. I've never seen a Squarespace site go down. But that's just one of many reasons. What's the new dig effect? We don't really say that anymore. The twit effect. The twit effect, yeah. yes. Yeah, so you don't to, have to worry about the twit effect when we, we talk about the your slash dot effect, and then it was the dig effect, now it's this twit effect. Nice. Because we bring down sites when we talk about them, people all go to them. In fact, we have to pull up this. We used to do this on Tech TV, pull up the sites before we go there. We don't have to do that with Squarespace. Squarespace is hosting, the best hosting there is, and software, content software. The other day I got a, a, a panicked email from one of our viewers who said, now, Leo, I know you're running WordPress. Uh, you haven't updated it. There's a major bug. You better get going. I had to literally run home and update Squaresp uh, update to WordPress. I wouldn't have had to with Squarespace because they do it for you. Well, what the heck are you running WordPress for? Well, that's a good question. When you have the emergencies such as this, I know. you should be using Squarespace. You know why I use WordPress? Why? So I know 
you know, so I can talk <laughs> so you, about it. So you know what it's... Uh, I know what the problems are. It's I have to. Are. You, I have to use everything. But you know, for our uh, Inside Twit blog, the most important part of the Twit empire is our blog. It's all of our dark secrets. It's running on what? Squarespace. That's Look right. at this. This is so cool. The, uh, the iPad app. There's an iPhone app as well. Mm -hmm. That not only can you post with this thing, but you can also uh, moderate comments, comments, manage. You got yeah. all the stats on here. It's just really nice. They've had the iPhone app out for a while, but the iPad app really shines. Yeah. Um, and they've made a couple uh, updates to it that have made it more stable. It just makes, I mean, for blogging, yeah, you, you don't really want to blog on a phone unless you absolutely have to. But on the iPad, it's it's pretty nice. People are going so crazy right now with these social uh, photography programs like Instagram and Color. You don't need that. No. You need your iPad and your Squarespace app, and you can do your own, you know, literally take pictures on your iPad and post them. Manage multiple accounts. There's full site previews. But that's just the iPad app, my friends. There's so much more. I want you to go to squarespace.com slash iPad today right now. When you do that, you will see a big green bouton. Click the green bouton. 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 The bouton de verre. And that will let you try it for yourself for free. You don't even need a credit card or anything. And, and you can set up the site. You have two weeks to play with it. Try all the features. And none of them are held back. In fact, it's a great way to, to kind of do a site for a friend or family member. You start with these templates. It's very easy. They'll think, wow, you're good. Oh, yeah, I did that about 10 minutes on Squarespace.com. It's amazing. And then after you do it, uh, you can say, here, here's the keys. It's your site. If you want to keep it, keep it. Social integration, too. Did I show you the widgets, the Flickr widgets, the uh, the Twitter widgets? You know, you got sliders, you got buttons. It's very easy. But if you know CSS, or you want to take an arbitrary RSS feed, if you know the SSs, you know you, you don't can customize it to your heart's desire. You but it, but, you but if you're not familiar or comfortable with making a right, Twitter the widget it. look good, yeah. they've got they 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 really make like it seamless. You just drop it in on your right hand rail or wherever you want to put it, and done. Hop on the Squarespace bandwagon right now because version six is just around the corner, and it's going to be a doozy. You want to be there for it. And that's the other thing. You'll get it automatically free. Squarespace.com. Click that Try It Free button. Try it for two weeks. If you decide you like it, as little as $12 a month, that's hosting plus software. It's the best. Squarespace.com slash iPad today. Uh, so every once in a while, we'll get an email from one of our wonderful viewers and or listeners yes. who will take us to task on something that we've said or done We're in the We're in past. trouble. We're in trouble. This time with Chad in Nashville who says... You know, I've got to disagree with your opinions on the Zyde app from episode 36. You didn't really like it, as opposed to Flipboard, the Zyde app differentiates, differentiates itself by finding me news and interesting stories that I never would have found on my own. So, you know, Discovery's you guys, you, a guys, big deal. you guys don't even really know what you're talking about. I use Google Reader for my own curated content, but I love how Zyde... <laughs> Did he say that we don't know what we're talking about? No, I actually paraphrased that. I was going to say, I'm that's not, pretty harsh. I'm sorry, Chad. Sometimes I do that with emails that's harsh, just to make man. them go by faster. <laughs> Uh, he, he was, it was a nice long email. I'm just paraphrasing. He didn't say. Well, I'm gonna look. I'm gonna. I'm gonna download Zite right now. Well, just... I already have Zite open, so you okay, don't even have to worry Okay, let's see. Okay, let's see. Show me how what great he, Zite what is. What he says is that what's nice is that it uh, Zite will curate the content based on what you've already. Uh, you, what you, you look at. You give Zite a, a sense of what you want to read about. You know, mm -hmm. like technology. I picked social media, photography, some food. And then once you um, start reading through, so, okay, so here are all the sections that I've, I've picked and chosen for myself. Music news, travel blogs and tips, gadgets. Okay, so here, here's just, this is sort of an overall look at all the stories that I've chosen. Or I could just go into gadgets themselves and it would give me only gadget stories. Okay, so let's do that for the purposes of this. All right, well, here's a article from Boy Genius Report about iOS 5. That sounds like something I'd like to read. It sure does. Yeah, so here is where it gets cool. And this is something that we really didn't explain well about Zite initially. So I go ahead and read the article. And this looks like something I would like, but let's just say that I don't like it. Let's say that I think Ooh, I'm not interested in, in anything else from Boy I'm Genius. Bored. I say, did, when it asks me in the personalization bar, did you enjoy reading this? I say no. no I so it enjoy acts that like Pandora all. in that way. You know how yeah. Pandora will get smarter as you mm -hmm. continue thumbs to up, use thumbs it? Thumbs up, thumbs down, yeah. If you don't, I mean, with Pandora, it's a little bit more specific because you say, I hate the song and you'll never hear it again. Yeah, that's what they say. You don't necessarily, I'm, I'm not necessarily wanting to get rid of Boy Genius Report. Maybe it's just the iOS app. Maybe it's just uh, this particular author. So there are, there are a lot of parameters to keep into consideration. 
But at this point, you know, I can, there are all of my email, Instapaper, Facebook, and Twitter sharing options. And then I can also say something okay. like, okay, well, maybe I hated this article, but maybe I'd like to see more about iOS. So now it says you'll see more about iOS in your gadget section. Okay. So you talked I, me into I it. I think that Chad has made a really good point that we were saying, well, it's not like Flipboard. Because we like, like Flipboard a lot, but Flipboard doesn't really customize much, Flip, right? Flipboard, I mean, you can only Flipboard is a, the it's, it's a variety of our feeds that we've right. already chosen right. via other means. Right. And Zite is more of a... Zite gives you more control. It's almost like a stumble upon type of oh. a service where based on what you've liked uh -huh. and stumbled, it tries to get smarter over Got time it. and give you what you want. So, you know what, Chad? In Nashville, thank you. I actually... Gave Zai another look, and I realized that it has a lot of merit. Not Tom merit, the other kind of merit. I'm installing it I don't think right Tom now. Tom merit has anything to do with it. Yeah, Zite. I'm putting it right back on. So thank you, Chad. It's nice to uh, to be reminded sometimes when we've overlooked See, something. We're we're correctable. That's right. You just hit us with a newspaper on our nose, make us smell it, <laughs> and we'll be better. You know what else? Um, uh, where is where is where is our incredible booth? Oh, here it is. I made a mistake. What did you? What was your mistake? Because I made a mistake too. We both made a mistake. By saying it was, it was black and white. It's not. It's color. It's it's okay. So how did we know? How come we? Oh, I see the stupid. dial. Be, uh, Scott and Beth Birmingham. They live in Tascadero, California. Said, yeah. wait a second. No, no, no. You're only on filter one of four. Stupid. So there's filter two. Well, that's filter four actually. Uh, filter three, and um, I kind of like black and white. Well, I do too. But it's not your only option. But you can't tell what the filter is going to be. This is my problem. It shows it in color, doesn't it? Well, let's go. Let's use filter four and see. So you have to kind of learn what the filters do. Hmm. <laughs> what did it do? Well, let's find out. Okay, so cool. Look. It's color. It's color. Toy. So you kind of, you know, you... you, you they should, you know it. what? They should preview the filter, though. How are you supposed to know? I don't know. I guess you yeah. just get used to it. Yeah. Anyway, thank you for setting us straight because for any reason... I prefer the black and white, as as do you, Leo. But if for any reason you're like, well, I don't want to be right. just black and white, you've got four right. filters. So sorry to it does have anybody a, They do astray. name them. So we were using Black Keys SG. Four is Betsy X. <laughs> three is Johnny S. And Who's two is Alfie these? K. Well, Who's I don't know. Who's these filters? So uh, we, we just didn't realize that, that this is actually a little pet peeve of mine. Yeah. With uh, I iOS apps in general is because Apple doesn't give you kind of a standardized, um, you know, there's, there's not like things like long press and stuff. Right. There's a very limited number of UI things you can do. All of them have kind of interesting, different, non-standard UIs. And you have to kind of figure out the UI, the user interface yourself. And well, I don't think it's always obvious. Sometimes that's fun, I think. Sometimes it's fun to kind of try right. to figure out, ooh, they did this really differently in, in, a, in a unique kind of settings options. Sometimes, sometimes we don't uh, get it. Um, color, which we'll talk about in a later show, because it just came out yesterday, and I'm still trying to form That has a weird opinion. UI, too. So weird. I mean, it's not intuitive to me. Thank anyway, and to, I'm not the only one. You're not the only one. No. Uh, all right, let's move on now to a voicemail. We haven't played a voicemail in a while. Thank goodness. And this What's one, our number? Uh, our number is 757-504-IPAD so or 4723. Somebody called that, they could they, they would say leave a message. Exactly. It's actually me kind of going, hur, 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 but don't let that put you off. Just, really? Just leave your, I'll, just like I'll make that? a new one. Hur, 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 hur. It's very horse-like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I made one. Did you whinny into I made the? A, I made a greeting once and I was like, oh, I got to read do that and I haven't yet so oh, I have I, I have a sense that that might be why some people that's why they're scared because they're like they say, you? oh it's horse line yeah it's horse lady and I don't want to talk to well, her thank goodness anyway, uh, this, 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 this one's from anonymous left us a message yes yes yeah, so I just have a question how do you sync up the iPad to iTunes and not have iPhone only apps sync up with it um, I've just ordered an iPad and I want to make sure I know what I'm doing when it comes out. It's a great Thanks. question. It's a great question. There, there isn't a direct way uh, to do that. But when you first hook up your iPad, I can do it right Into now. iTunes. Into iTunes. You'll go to the apps settings, and you'll see that there are a number of ways to sort apps. And you can right. see iPad-only apps, iPad, iPhone apps, mm -hmm. iPhone, iPod Touch-only apps. So you can see which apps are universal which aren't all of them will work almost all of them will work on the ipad i don't know of any apps that won't yeah i mean if anything it might just be something that 
doesn't work or doesn't look as good as it would on the iPhone, but it's not really gonna. So, but here's the anything. deal. So, uh, when you do that, uh, let's see. I'm, I have to change this setting so it doesn't erase my iPad here. Replace photos? No, don't do any of that stuff. But when you do that, you'll see a checkbox, and this is the key is there is a, a little checkbox that says automatically transfer new apps over. So what you're going to want to do, it takes a, I mean, it's a little bit of annoying, mm -hmm. but what you're going to want to do is first sort those apps the way you want to sort them. Right. So uh, sort by, I'll, I'll press sync apps here. I know, I know, sync apps. Uh, and I'm going to say sort by, you could say by name, category, date, size. You can show only iPad apps. That'll keep the iPhone apps off, but a lot, but you may want some of them. So what I do is I sort by kind, and then you'll see iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPad apps. You'll see iPhone. So these are these are compatible with all. Mm -hmm. These are iPad only apps. And you can pick and choose. You can check the ones you want, and then this is the key here. This is what I found. This checkbox right here automatically sync new apps. Uncheck that. If you say if you check that, and you say sync up something else, an iPhone, and you've got some iPhone apps on there. Uh, it will copy those new apps over to your iPad, so you will start getting a bunch of iPhone apps on there. Yeah, if you want to, if you want to manually control which uh, apps you're do. adding to your iPad, you've really got to uncheck anything that's automatic. So there, see, this is what you don't want. And I've unchecked all the iPhone and iPod Touch apps. I don't want any of those. Oh, wait a minute. There's a couple that copy over. But if you don't want those apps, you just uncheck them, and it won't recheck them as long as you have that checkbox here about automatically sync new apps. You leave that off. Otherwise, you may get some leakage. Sort by kind. iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPad apps. These are okay. These will work on both platforms. I like how the uh, MacBook is making it look like we're running word lens over it right now. Oh, yeah. Sorry about that. That's a little weird. It's a little weird. Yeah, I think it's the a, idea, though. It's a little problem we have. We've had that for a long time. Uh, we also got a video from Aussie who lives in Petaluma, of local. all places. A local. Yeah, he says he walks his dog by the studio all the time. I wrote him back and said, will you please come knock on the door and come in and say hello one of these days? Anyway, you were mentioning, I, I think it was in last week's show, that it kind of bu bugs you that the smart cover is only covering the, the front of the iPad because the back of your iPad is getting all scratched up. Yeah. So he made a little video for us illustrating. To unscratch? What we, what we might want to what what we might want to do. Actually, you know what? <laughs> That's not true. It's this a tip. A, this is a, this is a different tip about the cover <laughs> itself. Sorry, I, I deleted something out of the show and I got confused as to what I deleted and what I kept. Aussie, you stayed. Hi, Leo and Sarah. This is OC from Petaluma, right up the street from you guys. I was listening to iPad Today number thirty-seven, and I have a comment for Sarah. She remarked that the smart cover on the iPad two is a bit janky when holding the iPad in landscape orientation, and I agree. The magnets are not strong enough to hold it upright. But if you wrap the cover the other direction, you see that this makes a very stable stand where the magnets are not relied upon to hold it in position. The downside is that this exposes the soft gray underbelly to whatever crap is on the table. And that's what we don't like. Well, that's my comment. Thanks for all your great shows, and uh, you know what's see you around time. interesting about this is I didn't even notice because I've got the red cover. Yeah. And the red cover kind of looks the same in the, on the front and the back. Oh yeah, you there's really a soft are, side and there's a right there, side. There is yeah. a soft side, and I mean yeah. I know that I know that's true because you can't put it on backwards, and that's right. annoying because I'm always like, what is wrong with my cover? Oh, I'm holding it backwards. But I never really noticed that indeed. The way to use this when you want when you want the cover to be upright, holding your iPad upright, you're exposing the soft underbelly. Mm. You can't really do it the other way and mm. get a nice, mm -hmm. nice, uh, uh, clean magnet pull. I have. It's funny. I've seen some cases for the iPad too, but none of them would I say are are any good. I, I think we're we're still waiting for the. I want to see a case that takes advantage of the magnets that mm -hmm. covers the front and the back. Uh, I know that's a lot to ask. It's funny you mentioned that. That has actually. a hole. Do you really have a solution? Yeah. Well, I don't, but Sonia does. She sent us a video as well that might exactly be what you want to the T. Hi, Leo and Sarah. It's Sonia from Henderson, Nevada. I'd like to comment on episode 37. Leo, you said you wanted a case that protects the back, the front, and uses the magnet. Yes. I believe I found it. You did. 
on the Marware site, okay. there's a case called the Microshell Folio. It does all the things you want it to do. And it's seventy dollars. The same price as the leather smart cover for Which now. I wasted my money on, yeah. Now I think I'm going to return my leather smart cover that I purchased in red and take the money and buy the Microshell folio from Marware. What do you think? I think Awesome. Oh, sorry. I am <laughs> recording this in iMovie. It wasn't done yet. Too. That's what I wanted to know. This, okay. How did she do that? She has a lower third. She has Vegas. She it's beautiful. It it's I, produced. In iMovie. So I mean, on the iPad did that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Everything on the iPad. So Marware.com. If you, uh, so I, I was like, okay, let's see what Sonya's got. It's pre-order. The Micro Shell Folio Black iPad 2 case. Yeah. It's everything that, that you want about the front. It's got a hole for the camera. And the back. It will, it will, uh, it will put your iPad to sleep. And wake it up. It's got the, the magnet? A way that the cover will. Okay, I'm buying this. And it's the same price. I love, well, I love Marware. I have the same Marware price case the for years. the leather option anyway. Now, it's all around stylish scratch, scratch impact protective vinyl. Or is it leather? No, it's polycarbonate. Huh. huh. I don't know. I don't know about you, but the leather is not impressive when to me. When are we going to, no, this to, uh, you couldn't tell the difference. No. When are we going to do? I think we need to do a show on iPad Two cases. Well, as soon as they come out, we've talked a lot about cases, and there are iPad two cases already. To the choose ones from. I've seen are not impressive. This is not available as we record, and that's you know. But I, but I thank you. But they're making them, Sonia. Thank you. You know, Dodo case, which is the case that I used for my first gen iPad for the last better part of a year, uh, that I'm not using now because my iPad two is too small and doesn't fit in it, and also because I ran over the case on a treadmill, but. <laughs> It's a long story, but they all—they've—they're now providing a—it's like a sticky, um, almost like a. There is an iPad two version, isn't there? Yeah. Well, there's a there's that, oh, but so it's they, an adapter? they also co they also provide just a back cover. Uh, so if you're going to use the cover, oh, they provide both. kind of it, it's almost like a suede type of a synthetic suede that you add to the back. But I think you know why not just have a cover yeah. rather than a front smart cover or a case rather well as you know i like that marware cover for the ipad one I, that was my favorite case yeah, so i i like marware so i will go check that out i think it's uh, um just goes to show how apple um marks up things because there's same price the micro cell folio that sonya pointed out for the same price as same leather price. and does everything you want but it's but not it's, leather but it's actually a case it's not leather which so, you probably like uh yeah i don't yeah. I, this is leather. I, I just don't... It just doesn't... I can't tell the difference. No, it doesn't do anything for me. But In do, fact, but, it's probably less rain-resistant than the synthetic right. case would be. And I was walking in the rain this morning, kind of worrying about it a little bit. So something to consider. Um, we got a lot of feedback this week. So thank thanks, you. Thanks so much for all your feedback. We can only show a few of your your you know your emails, voicemails, videos in each show. But we definitely want to hear from you. So keep them coming. Write us at iPad today at twit.tv. Again, that voicemail number is 757-504-IPAD. Or send us a video. Just upload it somewhere and, and send us the link like Sonia did. Thanks, Sonia. I hope everything's going well in Henderson. And uh, and we will feature you as much as possible because we love you guys. Yes, we do. Yep. So, Leo, before so, we get to our app caps. Yes, I'm getting it ready right now. I'm so excited. <laughs> I love showing you Slingbox. It's a good yeah, one. You know, you know how I love the Slingbox. Have we talked about what the Slingbox is? Slingbox is that box <laughs> yeah. that you connect to your home TV system. So you get the Slingbox, you connect it to your TV system, and whether it's your DVR, your uh, satellite box, your cable box, or all of the above, your uh, DVD player, your Blu-ray player, you connect them to the Slingbox, and then you connect your Slingbox uh, to the Internet. So you do that now... You can on your laptop, Windows or Mac, on your iPod, touch with uh, Wi-Fi, on your iPhone, uh, or uh, on your uh, iPad, you can now watch your Slingbox. You can actually watch TV. So this is, this is so cool. Here's my um, Sling Player Mobile. This is what I got on the iPad. And I think I, you know what, I think I turned it off. <laughs> It's not pulling it up, but you get the idea. I mean, imagine you're carrying this around and you're watching your home TV. <laughs> Pay no attention to that woman. No, it's all imagine right. Imagine carrying that around. You're watching I'm just your, excited for my app Your app. home TV. Sit back. Your cap's getting in the shot. Right. <laughs> Stop it. Sorry. 
Sorry. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting moist. <laughs> Let me tell you about Slingbox. You know how that works. You go to go to Best Buy or Amazon or Slingbox.com to find out more. And and you get the Slingbox. You plug it into your TV system, whether your DVR, your uh, home theater stuff, you know, your satellite box, your cable TV, your uh, DVD player. And then you hook the other end up to the Internet. Now, wherever you go, you can watch your home TV system on the Internet. You can use this great iPad app, the Sling Player mobile app. You can use an iPhone or iPod Touch with Wi-Fi. You can use your laptop, Mac, or PC and watch your home TV system anywhere you are. No additional monthly fees. You've already paid for it. Uh, it's just great. If you want to watch the local football game, the local news, something you've DVR'd, you know, fill up your DVR with shows you want to watch, then watch it on your iPad. It's just awesome. I want you to try it. Go to Slingpad, Slingbox, Slingbox.com. <laughs> Slingbox for the iPad. Slingbox.com. And uh, find a dealer near you. They've got them at Best Buy, Amazon.com. It's just fantastic. Slingbox, it's amazing. I know you're going to love it. And now, ladies and gentlemen, put on your app caps. Do you think people at home don their app caps when we I do? I like to think so, but something tells me that we're the only, the only ch chumps in this room uh, and, and your living room at home or your commute or wherever you might be that's actually wearing a hat. But if you are wearing a hat, kudos to you because it's a lot of fun. Yeah, we kind of gave it away during during. I our like your hat. Talk. That's a. It's a good one, isn't it? Yeah. I like it too. It's just very big and it gets in the way. It's my head size. All the hats are my head size. It not feels your good, but it is big. Yeah. It's a very. It's a. It's, it's a. Attractive. It's a hat for a very big-headed person. I like your hat. Mm -hmm. Your hat is very nice. Yeah. It's um. It's good for uh, going clam diving. I <laughs> razor clam. Razor, I look like a razor yes. clam, actually. Except uh, softer around the edges. <laughs> I look like, like a you know a fuzzy. There razor was a clam. clam on the show earlier. Okay, if you're just tuning in, just forget yes, it. there's it's too in late. Washington State. The joke's it's, over. It's right. They. What is your app cap? It's called Every Day. Please. Oh, uh, I love this, and I've been doing it on your iPhone, right? Yeah. So I have two. So here's the here's the deal with Every Day. You take a picture you every day. You take a picture of yourself. It's from Lonely Sandwich. Um, well, he's he's one of the folks that, that Adam Lissagor and yeah. others, yeah. Who um, who who's he's kind of like the guy who does videos to show how. His, that's the work. funniest video while he's eating the sandwiches. Isn't it great? So this so is, this works on. There's no reason why you couldn't use this on your exactly. IPad. What this is is it's an iPhone app. You take a picture of yourself every day, mm -hmm. um, and I'm going to show you a really stupid video because I've only taken two pictures on the it's iPad. It's a very short video. Uh -uh. But so and I, t I took two one after another. Well, I know I kind I'll of, show you mine. I've I taken a few more. See, I have, I have four pictures. So you want to see my video? Yeah. <laughs> Let's see it. It's kind of short. But see, and the idea is if you did this all year. If you did this for five years, for example. Like like that Noah guy did. Noah Kalina. Yeah, he, um, if you're not familiar with him, he did this project before there was an. He was the inspiration. Before there was even an iPhone. <laughs> there wasn't an internet. He took pictures of himself over five years. I think it was. It might have even been six. And I mean, you, you saw him age over time. You actually saw him age. It was really, really interesting. So anyway. Um, this is called Every Day. It's, mm -hmm. an, uh, it's an iOS only app right now. They call it an iPhone app, but honestly, you can use your iPad. The now, the trick on this is you got to line your face up you unless you want to be bouncing up. all over the place. Yeah, so for example, let's say that I... Blah, 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 blah. Oh, we're just going to go back. Boop, boop, boop. Um, Here, I'll show you. How do I go back? You reset the alignment guide. I'll show you how to do it. Because you can. there's two ways you can do it. You can have an image of your face... Uh, that you line up with, or you can uh, you can do it um, with little guides here. So I'll show you the I'll show you the alignment guide. This is the previous image that I took, right? See that dot? Mm -hmm. You line that up with your nose in the middle, right? Mm -hmm. So right, it's right in the middle of my nose, and then you line this up with your eyes, right? Mm -hmm. And then you line this up with your mouth. Now that could be your alignment guide for the next picture. I could turn that on, and then see I have to line that up. Or if you want, you can use your previous picture, a little ghost of your previous picture, and line yourself up with that. Or Other... you can use both, which I think is the best. Can you use both? Yeah, yeah, there's both. Yeah, yeah. Because then you kind of see the ghost of yesterday. And the um, ghost of tomorrow. I don't know why, for whatever reason, I'm not able to get back out of my settings. What does it matter with me? 
Oh, here we go. Here go. Okay, so yeah. show us. So yeah, so this is. I mean, the thing is that the whole idea is to do every day. But I mean, I took those pictures. You could do two within thirty There's seconds no of each other. You, couldn't do two you could do as many as you want, and that was kind of the neat thing that I got out of the project yesterday. Is um, you can make some sort of funny. You can you can use every day for something besides taking well, a you picture could do every of yourself minute. every day. You could do every minute, or you could put together a cute video of, I don't know, running around the, we, you know, we can make like a time-lapse thing of us in the studio. See, I've, take I've, 30 uh, pictures real I've, quick. Now, I probably shouldn't do that because I've set it to upload to Tumblr. So every time I take a picture, oh, you know it what? uploads it. I, um, I had that going to Flickr. So, yeah, so yeah, now, so here's my, there you like go. Line yourself up. Yep, she's got the hat. It's, oh, boy. See, now I can really yeah. make a movie. See, you can kind of see it's like the ghost of yesterday. It's hard to do. Yeah, there you go. You got it. You got it. Oh, that's going to be beauty. Well, let's add it now. <laughs> let's add it. <laughs> that's beauty. I know. You want to see my movie now? Like Here's raw, my movie. It's raw beauty. Here's my movie. Look at this. This is better than your movie. Whatever. <laughs> let's it's see your a... movie. Woo! Woo! See the hat? It just surprises you. It does. You don't even know. It's, 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 this is, believe me. It's this is the stupidest app the ever. The impact, no, the impact is just much better once you've had, <laughs> oh, pictures. I don't know, 30 days yeah, and yeah. beyond. And take many pictures a day with hats. Uh, it's one ninety nine, so it's not free. It's two bucks. But if you're inspired, what it'll do is remind you. So if you're like, oh, I'd love to participate. I'm never going to remember to do this once a day. It'll just right. send you a push notification. So that for, I like. for three days now, I've remembered. And it's yeah, roughly it the same you. time every day. Yeah, really I'm like. always sitting upstairs. So mm -hmm. that works out well. One thing that you can't do what? is go back and forth. So it's like if you've got every day on your iPad and your iPhone, you want to stick with the same unit for all of your photos. Because oh, so I've done it now on my phone. Could, I can't you really. You could export them or you could import them. Oh, you can. That's yeah. right. You can put them on the photo But roll. you, it, it, it just, it kind of gets messy that way right. because you want things to be in order or you're not right. really using it right. So I love every day. It's fun. So will time. you, are you pledging that you will in a year, you will, will, will both come on this show and have our little videos? I'm totally going to try. Me I mean, too. the only reason I wouldn't take a picture is if for some reason... I don't have my phone on me, and that never really happens. Every day, we're going to take yeah. a picture from Every now day. On. We'll, Maybe we'll twice see a day. in a year. <laughs> Sometimes three times a day. Yeah. Mine is just fun. Now, remember we were talking okay. about Angry Birds. Yes. Uh, this is in the spirit, the true spirit of Angry Birds or Cut the Rope or a lot of those physics games. In fact, you might even say it is inspired by all of the above. It's called Landa Panda, and I just love this. You see, it, it supports Game Center, so... Uh, you know, you're if there are pandas involved, I like it already. Well, that's why I like it. It's pandas. So, does this look familiar? It's a little. It's a yep. little. Uh, looks just familiar. Like, and looks they've got three like. stars. The whole thing. Uh, I'll start with a l little bit earlier one. So you can a level see. that you've already conquered. Yeah. So you know you won't. Look so too the idea silly. is, you want to get little panda here to his girlfriend panda right there. Oh, see, her heart is beating for him, but you've got to get him through various obstacles and so forth. You know, I don't know why I don't hear any. I want to hear panda sounds. Maybe you have your sound down. I have it all the way up. Mm -hmm. I hear it. You hear it? Yeah. There Aww. we go. There we go. Yeah. So, here's a little cut the rope thing. I cut the <gasps> balloon. Oh, my god! And now he goes in a little cannon. Oh. Oh, panda. Careful. Be careful. Oh, and now we got to shoot him to this girlfriend, and we made it. Isn't They're going to have sweet? such a fun date. But I only got one of the coins, so I might want to redo that one. Oh, this is stressful. see, it's a little, it's a little bit of a puzzle. This see, is I stressful. should shoot there. Oh, yeah, now, whoa, ho, oh. yeah, oh, geez, whoa, whoop. Now I want to get that you one. Gotta go up. Gotta go, you gotta up. go up. Ho, whoa, I missed it. Oh, you gotta tap it gotta, right at the right time. Gotta wait till yeah, it goes yeah. up again. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Tap her. And true love. Always. They got a lot of hearts out of that. Yeah. That is so cute. Isn't that cute? Now it does get harder. I'll, I'll uh, we'll go to the menu. We'll select a a different level. Um, there are a lot of levels in here, and and you know, actually, I should go back and show you that this goes on, and on, and on. And they like these other games. They promise new levels. I They've love done it. it. I it, love the pan. Well, it's, I mean, it's the like pandas are cute. It's got a little eight bit feel to it, which is fun. And believe me, this can get pretty darn challenging.
So we can squeeze it. We can we can move around so we can see that we've got to do what we've got to do here. No, that's too much so work. We'll pop see, this, the panda. this is not the right game for me, but for anyone it's who likes that work? Angry Birds model, well, it's, too it's, much work? it's stressful. I get stressed uh -oh, out. Oh, watch out. Oh, no. Oh, way Dead to go. Panda. You blew up the panda. And then her heart is broken. Oh, my cries. God. It's so sad. So it's so sad. So yeah, you really, yeah. you don't want to mess up on this because this you will is, make a panda cry. It's a great, anyone who likes oh. strategy games... And physics games. And it's cute. It's a physics strategy game. Yeah. With a little bit of and they, rotational. And they squeak. Oh, oh man. Yeah, you got to try that out. I'm really breaking that panda girl's heart here. I, why does she have to cry? Because it makes it more fun. Well, yeah, I guess. Oh, got it. Oh. Everyone likes a crying chick. Oh, well, now you gotta you got to look around and see, well, what do I need to do? Oh, I need to go over there so I can go over there. Yeah. All right. See, it's very, it's very you have tricky. Gotta go down. Oops. Well, no, no, you're okay. Cool. Ooh, 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 ooh. Now. Well, now what are you going to do? Oh! oh! You have to start all over so again. So close. Well, we get the idea. It's very frustrating. Very frustrating game indeed. But if you're into <laughs> frustration, then you're going to like this. It's 99 cents. Land a panda. I like it Land a lot. Land a panda. It's really fun. Pretty cute. Squeaky I, pandas. I'm Who a panda like killer. That? Yep. Leo, I believe we've come to the end of our road today. And the um, end of our rope. Don't cry. <laughs> we can, you can land a panda later. <laughs> can land yourself a panda. You too. Panda love. But that's it for us on this edition of iPad Today, episode 38 in the can. We'll see you uh, next week, same time, same place. Yes, we will. Thank you for joining us. Bye-bye. Oh!